Hello world, this is Jeffrey, jgb 146 blake coming to you with an announcement. So, it's been like a year since I last released a video, and we're going to start fixing that. I somehow am still getting new subscribers, so thanks to everybody there, uh, but I feel like obviously no content in a year is ridiculous. Uh, part of the problem there was that I was trying to do Twitch streams for a while, and I'm not good enough to do Twitch streams effectively enough to turn them into videos, because I misplay like crazy when I'm trying to commentate while also actually making my plays. So Twitch streams will probably come back as well. I stopped doing those too. Um, but they're not here now. What is here is me doing videos. Um, and I'm going to do a couple new series. I know we're sort of at the end of the current format, end of the um, team up format, the beginning of the, well, about to start the Unbroken Bonds format with pre-releases this weekend. But there are a few things that I think aren't covered enough about the current format that will still be relevant next format. So I want to talk about those. Uh, so we're going to have two series coming up. First, we're going to do, as you can see on the screen, Quagnag. We're going to have a series called Quagnag Trick Bag. And um, I'm going to go over some lists. We'll look at the list that won not one, but top to Denver, and then we'll look at my list, which didn't top Denver, even though I was there. Um, but I don't think it's a problem with the list, I think it's a problem with me and being able to play in a best of three 50 minute format with a deck that requires setup. I can do it pretty easily with Pigaron. I uh, would have made day two in Collinsville if I had not screwed up some other things there but backing away from that uh, let's focus on what's coming forward so Quagnac trick bag look at we'll do the the old school thing that we used to do looking at relevant matchups with Quagnac how to handle them that sort of thing um, I do think that Quagnac is actually an underrepresented and undervalued deck it is honestly able to handle pretty much every matchup out there. The slight exception is Binusaur, but you can still win, it's just not a good matchup. Um, it's a mediocre, but still winnable, sort of 50-50-ish matchup with Zora Rock. Um, so look at that as one series. And the other series that I'm gonna do is we're going to call it Controlling Control. So what it is is a few different decks that I think are really relevant for playing against control decks. Um, and the reason they're relevant is because they can just laugh about energy denial to the point that control doesn't win against them for the most part. You have to play around the control players, but um, that's relevant because, as we know, control install, we're in the finals of Denver, and uh, that means one of the two, in this case control, one. So we'll take a look at that. We'll uh, uh, have fun with it, hopefully. And just as a side note, updates from me. Um, the other half of why I haven't been around this year doing videos is that I went sort of unexpectedly try hard at competitive. Um, I had a great first quarter. I think I was 10 points shy from max CP at cups and challenges. So I started off the year as the top CP top rated player in my state um, and then they announced the 550 CP cap and I'm like I just dominated this quarter for my locals and I still don't know if I can even like get there 
but I did some math. I talked to Seagrove, and we sort of established a plan on how I could. And so I went for it. And then I dropped an acrobike at some point at Collinsville. It was found in the Lost and Found during my round nine deck check. And because I only have 59 cards, I took a loss for the round and didn't make the two. That was my winning in. I was, we were one and one and I was going first in a matchup that I've never lost going first and almost never won going second. Um, so didn't make it. Lost to a great guy, Dalton. Uh, I don't know if I should say his last name, so I won't, but a guy named Dalton out of Oklahoma City. Um, and he was actually really cool. He was trying to argue that they let us play out our match, and he would just concede to me if I won, even though they issued the loss. Uh, but they said we were too short on time after they took 25 minutes to figure out issues with decks, uh, which is understandable. It had been a long day for everyone. But anyway, uh, so. So that's been me this year, just running all over, playing cups like crazy, playing... I, I ended up only playing in two regionals. Um, like I said, I almost day two to Collinsville. I sort of say that I went 5-2-1, uh, even though my record states 5-3-1. I don't feel like counting the last round as a win or a loss, so it clearly wasn't a tie. Uh, so I'm just saying the last round didn't happen. Um, and then at Denver, I went one, two, three drop playing Quagnag because I was playing too slow and I, I misplayed a few times. I misplayed out of a win against Sylveon um, once I was into the stall bracket. But that's that. Uh, that's been this year. And I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do next year. One option I had looked at was just focusing on building up social media, building up here on YouTube, building up Twitter, uh, Twitter, building up, well, sure, Twitter, but Twitch, um, and I may go that route, uh, focusing on, like, building up my league, uh, oh, yeah, that's another thing, I became a league owner this year, woo, stage one judge, thinking about applying for stage two, but I don't feel like I need it, so I may not, um, so I've been busy in the Pokemon world. Uh, I also joined Team Level 5, and that's been cool, uh, so I'm still going strong with that. And yeah, that's been me in a nutshell for the last year-ish, and from there I guess that's all I have to talk about for this talky video, like a vlog thingy a jig. Um, and with that, we'll go ahead. We'll wrap things up, and I'll be back, like, tomorrow with an actual video. Uh, starting off one of those two series. It'll probably be Quagnag, because I'm working with someone else on the control aspect, so that I can get someone who actually has played a decent amount of control to pilot the other side, while I show how to beat them. <laughs> uh, so yeah, with that, we'll go ahead and wrap up for the day. This is Jeffrey, signing off.